Hey guys, my name is Zediac and welcome back to another episode of Construction Simulator where we are continuing the build of this brand new hotel. I currently stand on the foundations in the middle of the night. Yes, this is quite an eerie sight right now, but we need to continue the progression. Now, right now, we, uh, well, last episode, I should say, we got to the point where we dug a hole, built some ramps, laid the concrete foundations, and I think we're now ready to place in a pallet of concrete f uh, formwork. So, let's get up the hill. Let's jump into your boy's big crane, which we set up last episode. It's actually really glorious. And if I can just navigate my, um, my cement pumper. <laughs> And uh, get the buildings continuing. So, guys, if you always, if you do enjoy this, I want to see more. Now, make sure you smash the like button down below. I can't get in the crate. What's going on? What's going on? If you are new right here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when that next episode does come out. I had a very, very fun time last episode trying to navigate and utilize the crane. Let's see if I'm going to have the same issues. Now, I'm bringing it down. It does like to swing all over the place. But I need the pallet of the foam work, which I believe it's just this here. So getting a little bit closer, drop this down. Oh, no, no, no. Boom. I got it. So let's bring this all the way out and try not to destroy it in the process. Oh, dear God. Senec, what are you doing? <laughs> now I need to bring four over here. And you think I'm going to do it with this attitude? <laughs> well, let's go for the back piece first. And then bring it all the way down. Look at this. My superb crane skills. You cannot deny they are great. You cannot deny they are great. All right, I'm just trying to get the, uh, the momentum swinging around perfectly. Okay, I need to bring this up a little bit higher. <laughs> And then go over here, and then we should be able to get it, and off we go again. Look at me go, boys. Have you ever seen something so perfect utilizing a crane? Right, yes. The cargo might be damaged, but that's not the point. That's not the point. Look at me go. Can I not get it over to this one? Excuse me, sir. I want you over here. Why is he moving so quick? There we go. <laughs> Don't question me, okay? I know a lot of you guys like to question my ability to drive a crane. Or to operate a crane, I should say. Don't question nothing. Because in reality, I got the skills to pay the phone bills. Oh, there's a little hammer thing over there. I just realized one of those things you got to collect. I'm going to have to grab that. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to be used for right now. It could be to place down the walls, the structure. I don't know. I could be laying down another level of foundations. I don't know. But we are hopefully going to earn over a million big ones today. That is what we're hoping for. That is what we are hoping for right now. Because uh, I earned so much cashola last episode. And hopefully the the progression the momentum can continue now just realizing how much product and material i have left over here really emphasizes how much more crane work i've got to do and i'm slightly getting better and better as time goes on slightly getting better and better i mean that wasn't too bad grabbing this last um set just here Ooh, ooh, okay now we've got to pour the walls so we have everything all set up for it. We pretty much have everything all set up for it, pouring the walls. My concreting skills aren't the greatest, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm going to jump in. Is the back of this open, by the way? No, it's not. Okay, I've got to jump in here first to open up the back. So, I've got to open the hopper, which is now open. We've got to jump in here right now, and then we've... I'm going to have to first... Oh, no, I've emptied it. Fill it up. Fill this bad boy up. And then turn the chute on. Is that even in? Begin the pouring. Is it going in? Yes, it's going in. So then run all the way over to here. Now, I'm not the best at doing this. I'll be honest with you. I ain't the best. 
and trying to pour these walls is going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be very difficult. So I've got to flip this all the way around. Every time I, I, I kind of un unload this or kind of unravel it, it feels like I'm going to scratch it on something, which is really weird. So let me start, right, by seeing the pro how we do this. So I drop it in like this. And I keep going. And it fills the wall up. That's actually quite cool. I, I like that. Alright. Now I've just got to get all this just set up correctly. Alright. If I can get this on the joint. I can fill quite a bit up. Alright. And go a little bit further out. You know, I think I like doing this better than the flooring. Honestly, I think I do. It's a little bit long-winded, granted, and I can't quite see exactly where I'm placing it. So I'm just heavily relying on the marker here. But we can get quite a bit of this done. I'm liking that it does spread. I mean, obviously, it is concrete. This is what concrete does. But I like the fact that we can do this. I just want to get it a little bit more over here. Fill that whole corner there up. There is a little bit to the right that I'm yet to do. But we'll get onto it uh, soon. Right, i got to push this further out. The annoying bit is, to push it further out, it also changes the height. But that is all down to how... It's all kind of collapsible and bendable and all that kind of stuff. Oh, the machine's empty. Right, so we've managed to do 63% on a full load from the mixer. That's not actually too bad. That's not actually too bad right now. Oh, get back in it. Uh, begin the pouring. Jump back out. So I spent over like 50 odd grand already. I've spent over 50 grand already. One, of, Some of it was obviously renting the vehicles, but... Refilling the concrete is an expensive game. It's a very expensive game. Here. Right, fill all this up. And then we'll pump it. Alright, I'm going to lift this up. Skedaddle round. Fill up this little corner. Beautiful. And get it just over here. So we're on 90%. This should do... It might even do all the percentage left I need. There we go. That's kind of sweet, isn't it? Right, okay. So, if I now... If I just put this over here... And leave it like that on the kind of... Notion that I'm going to potentially use it again. I've now got to move a concrete... A prefabricated element concrete. Which I assume it's this here. And I'm going to again assume I need to use the crane. Now, we know your boy's got epic crane skills. And I'm going to make sure that I don't hit my some um, concrete pour thing. So, spinning this right round. And then we bring this down. There we go, connected. So, move this out. And I believe, just now, oh, wrong button. Turning this round, I should be able to get this where I want it. So bring this puppy down. Boom! I got paid! Not a lot. Well, actually quite a lot. We're so close to a million. Look at that right now, 993. So... If I don't check the jobs, right, that's our estimated earnings, by the way, and it was 12 construction stages, this is where we're currently at, okay? Now, we could potentially, gonna, well, we're now going to make the next 170,000, and that is by materials being delivered, ceiling component, and then more concrete and involved. we got a long way to go! <laughs> we got a long way to go. Uh, I can't believe I made half a million on the first one, by the way. Uh, we're going to make a little bit on the next for some groundworks. 
so not really big money right now coming in for each of the jobs, but they all add up. Uh, so I should get paid pretty well towards the end of it. So yes, now I've got to deliver some materials, which we know exactly what we've got to do right now. It's the wooden beams and a ceiling component. Now, ceiling component is these ones here. So bring this puppy down. I should have taken the top one, shouldn't I? Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I'll try to take this one here. Now, where's the ceiling component going? So if I move this all the way over... Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness me. It's going to get merged in where my freaking... Okay, I might need to reset my... Uh... My concrete mixer. Oh, no, Zodiac. Wait, has he gone through it? If I... Okay, can I do that again? No. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get... Oh, I'm going to have to reset it, guys, because it's kind of in the way. <laughs> I'm going to have to move it as well, which is even more annoying. So, enter this puppy. It's going to reset the vehicle there now this is the problem isn't it i'm gonna have to move it oh, i got out i'm gonna have to move it right now so uh drive mode and it's currently locked in with that there so i'm gonna do a little bit of a three point turn so i'm just gonna place it here let me uh, jump out of the vehicle. Right there. Jump back into the crane. Here we go again. Here we go again. So pump this up. Let's go. I am such a great crane driver. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Oh dear God, Sediak. One day you'll know what you're doing. Right. Keep the momentum going. Too far. <laughs> Too far. I have moments where I can do it really good. And then I have moments where I do it terrible. It's just getting and knowing when to stop the swing. I know I do it a little bit too fast, but let's be honest, I ain't got time for that. Boom, next one. Look at me, I'm on fire right now. I'm on fire right now. Single-handedly building a freaking hotel. What you do in your life right now. <laughs> Probably much more impressive things than watching me build a hotel. Um, boom. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. Right. Come on, Sadiac. Boy. Come on, boy. Alright, just getting the angles right. Done, mate. Completed it. So now we need two sets of wooden beams. That is what we now need. Two sets of the wood. Could you imagine if I never got all this stuff like pre-delivered? Oh my goodness me, that would have been an epic, right? That would have been an epic. Probably would have cried. Because I would have to deliver it myself, unload it from the truck into a delivery. Oh, do you know what? How many times, how many deliveries would I have had to do to pick all this stuff up? It was worth the 12 grand I paid just to get them all delivered for me. Alright, we're going to grab this one over here. Maybe to swing back. And then finally, the last one that we're now moving. Great views from the crane. Great views from the crane. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no! Oh, this is not going to plan, is it? It just moves really quick. Sometimes it moves really quick, and then sometimes it doesn't move at all. There's no in between. Right, 
Right, why is this not being delivered? Huh? Have I picked up the right thing? I have a feeling I've not picked up the I've not picked up the right thing. Oh no, I picked up the hardboard things. I'm so dumb. You are so dumb, for real. I'm so dumb. Right, it's over here I've got to grab. I'm so far zoomed out right now, even I can't see. It's these here I should have grabbed. Let's go! Forgive me, guys, forgive me. And I've overshot it again. Bam! Nailed it! Now ceiling element! Oh my goodness me, how many of these have I got to do? Fifteen?! Right, this is crane work for days today, guys. This is crane work for days. Alright, pick you up. Over. Now, the only glorious thing will be it shouldn't take too many because of how close it is. I shouldn't need to have to pick it up that much as well. There we go. <laughs> and that's two. <laughs> Alright, come on, boy. You've got to get it a little bit high, don't you? Alright, move it right over to here. It does show you where it needs to go. And then we're going to have to pour a load of concrete on all of this, don't we? Damn. This is Crane Driving Skills 101. I'm enjoying this crane driving. It's a great way to uh, level up those skills. Get that experience on the go. So that's four pieces. That was actually done quicker than I was expecting. So now I just got to line up for these. I always forget you got to go a little bit higher. Now, where does this go? Ah, there we go. Just like that, sir. Just like that. And there's another, another couple just here as well. Bring it down. Would you believe it on five already? I don't, and I'm doing it. Oh, I let go at the wrong moment. All right, it's got to go here. Boom, there we go. <laughs> he on fire. Oh, we almost had it there. Oh, this is a big bit. Where's this going? Oh, there's one just here. Nice. Nice. Oh, guys, I'm on fire right now. Look at me go. Look at me go. Boom! And would you believe it? I'm over halfway.
because I don't. Right, now onto this final section here, guys. Now onto this final section. This beauty of a section. All the way over to the back. Let's go. Lift it up. Now, can this go anywhere? Oh, okay. Four more pieces. Oh, my goodness me. And then we need to pour the concrete. Up we go. Across we go. Yo, 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 yo. Three more pieces. <laughs> Stop moving! <laughs> All I had to do was make it a little bit higher. That's all I had to do. All right, so we get this first piece just here. Okay, maybe not. Well, that didn't work out too much, did it? Zip, zip. The final piece, it's the final piece. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Done, nailed it. And now it's time to pour the concrete. So, this is going to take quite a bit of concrete. And I'm sure I already filled the truck up, right, guys? I'm sure I already filled the truck up. Oh, I got out the truck. I'm sure I already filled it up. So let me change the mode. Oh, wait. Are the legs on the other side going to be okay? Yes. Perfect. And then uh, we're now doing the second floor. I wonder if we'll be able to go into the building. Do you reckon the, the dude would give me, like, lifetime free rooms to rent whenever I wanted? For building all of this? If you don't, then what a noob. Right, this is going to take a lot of concrete. I can already feel it right now. I can already feel it. All right, let's start here. Yep, there we go. Concrete machine empty. So, first, open the hopper. All right. And then we've got to now align this bad boy up perfect. Reversing, reversing. Alright, so, get this. That, I've never seen something so good. Uh, right, I'll empty to reload it and fill it. Uh, turn on the pouring. That's going in gloriously. I'm just too good, guys. Look at the dirt tracks on the road. That's kind of cool. I'm just too good, guys. So, off we go again with the pouring. So we'll do the obvious little route first, nearby. And that is 4%. So like I said, it's going to take a lot of concrete. It's going to take a lot. We're going to be here for some time. I'm at 13%. Here we go. I found a nice little rhythm. So I'm already at 20%, which is actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good if you ask me. 
put it back in. We should have gone out in small increments. Well, there we go. Get all this area done. Push it further out. And then go this way. So it's a much wider span right now, isn't it? Goodness me, 33%. I mean, this concrete's lasting quite a long time, isn't it? And there we go. <laughs> as soon as I've spoken. 37%, that's not bad. So by that logic, two more full loads. If I can get it to fill at that rate. Now, 21,000 a pop every time I do this. That is the, uh, the shocking bit, isn't it? That's where you spend your money. So, pouring on. Back into the, the pumper. And back in we go. So, let's just cover where we just went, where we kind of ran out. Let's just cover this side a little bit as well. Keep it going. All right, push it forward out. All right, can I go from this? Oh, this is a better radius. Yeah, so I can actually pump it a little bit further out than normal. Because it will spread. Which gives me a better coverage. And it's all now just working with the speed. Okay, maybe not just here. But I think that's maybe I need to come in a little bit. But I've just got to work with the speed now when kind of going through this. I think that's the hardest bit is to judge the speed of the, the angling. But in the grand scheme of things, I've got so far to go. There we go. Only up to 60%. So we was on 47 before we reloaded again. I just wonder how much we need to cover to get that 100%. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a shame it doesn't spread like water. Which I know it won't because of the consistency of it, the thickness. Because you can just have it in one spot and then it just kind of run everywhere. But obviously it doesn't work like that. It's concrete, it's thick, it's lumpy. I'm empty again. 73%. Now, I'm starting to think, maybe I might need another one after this. Because the numbers don't quite add up at the moment. So fill up. Start the pouring. Hmm. I reached a new milestone as well, by the way, guys. So 76%. So I need another 25%, basically. Which shouldn't take too long. I'm just wondering if I can now start pushing it out. Is this going to ruin... My, uh, my percentages now. I mean, like this, because there's like nothing that I'm backing onto. It might give us a little bit of a wider coverage. All right, straight over. I'm dropping some down the side of the building. <laughs> Now, 
Nearly at 90%. I don't think 10% is going to run me down here. Ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. Don't run out. Don't run out. Ninety nine, one hundred. Could you imagine if I ran out with one percent left? I would have cried. I would have absolutely cried. Hoping that is the last of my concrete pouring abilities. Oh, I gotta sw wait. What? I can't reset. Change to drive mode. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it, oh, is it because this is in the way? We're still pouring concrete, by the way. Turn off the port. <laughs> right, we should now be done. Please tell me we're now done with this next stage. All right, get in the vehicle, boy. So I shouldn't be able to, re able to reset. Now change the driving mode, which will get me out of the blue uh, blue square. And there we go. So we're pretty much back to now fabricating uh, this floor, which does require me moving more stuff from over here, I assume. Is that how it works? Is that where I'm grabbing it from? I need the pre uh, prefabricated wood element um, panels, which I'm going to assume it's all those over there. Now I do have, I believe, in my profile some skills to level up. I got two. Crane speed will be great since I got a king. Oh, look at this! You are skilled concrete worker uh, for smooth pouring without leaving any spots. That's what I needed with all that kind of stuff going on right there, isn't it? Oh my goodness me! Right, what jobs have I got coming up right now? Fabricated walls, elevator shaft, uh, ceiling construction, which is more concrete going to be happening. So I might as well just spend that skill point in the concrete. In. And I'm slowly getting better and better. I'm slowly getting better and better. Now I've got 1.1 million in my bank account. Please tell me I'm not leaving imprints on the concrete right now and I just have dirty shoes. Because the, the, the entrepreneur dude, the investor, is not going to be happy with me right now. <laughs> He's not going to be happy with me. But can you believe this? This is actually pretty damn good. I mean, I can't jump in and I can't go in. Because to get onto that bottom floor, we're going to need an elevator shaft. Uh, I've already built the, the shaft down. i got to then build it up here. Then we need to install the elevator. But this ain't looking too bad, too shabby. So a lot of crane work and a lot more crane work is going to be needed for next episode. We're on to the ground floor, then we're going to be constructing the ceiling, so it's pretty much crane, concrete, upper floor, crane, uh, concrete, upper floor, crane, concrete again, uh, roof construction, more crane, and then debriefing. But I am going to have so much money in the bank, I don't even care right now. It does mean I no longer have to hire any more vehicles, which is great. I could probably get rid of my dozer. Uh, but we will end it for here, guys. We will end it for here. That was a great great insight into what is about to come up and it should be pretty easy from this point out um this is actually gonna be quite a big hotel my only problem is gonna be is the higher we go the harder it's gonna get to concrete that's my only issue but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens guys i hope you did enjoy this episode if you did smash that like button down below and until next time i see you all soon so goodbye <laughs>